Greg Roten for Street Scene Plus, coming back to you from my garage again. Uh, spring is sprung and we are enjoying the nice weather and I thought I'd just give you another touch of part of my collection. Um, this car is pretty special. Uh, this was my first car back when oh, my parents actually bought this car when I was eight years old. So we took, I think I calculated about 21 trips across the country in this car. It's a 79 Chevy Caprice. You've seen it on the show before. You've probably seen it at some of the shows, but um, this was my first car. They kind of handed it down to me. Uh, I wanted it and uh, it was pretty beat. You know, I got it back in, it was mine in eight, 1987 when I uh, started driving. So um, got this car and I've had it ever since. It's been through some major changes. It came, if you kind of look online for a 79 Chevy Caprice, there's a brochure with it for two-tone blue, and that's what it looked like when I uh, got it handed down. I uh, got it painted this, uh, um, it's a 1986 Camaro blue. Um, it came with a 350 originally, 350 transmission, and uh, it's still got the original block in it. It's been rebuilt, the transmission's been rebuilt. Um, still th it's 355 now, got it punched out 30 over. Um, I. Uh, this car has been everywhere. You know, uh, when I drove it, I drove it all through high school, took my driver's test in it. Um, you know, my parents have passed on now, so uh, it's kind of got some sentimental value to it. It's, you know, and um, I, when I went to school in Arizona, uh, I had it there and I drove it all over the, you know, all over the place in Arizona. Uh, been across the country in it a few times myself. And then, uh, you know, uh, one night when I was working, I used to work at WKBN as a TV director. Uh, I was coming home one night and uh, rear-ended somebody, it totaled the car. I didn't know what to do, so I rebuilt it. And after I rebuilt it, I decided to kind of retire it. And it's, you know, it's it's funny because uh, I was one of those guys in high school that, uh, you know, nobody ever thought anything of it. It was a grocery getter, you know, oh, grand dad's car, grandpa's car. And people made fun of it, but I still liked it, so I kept it. But now, it's still, every time I go out, you don't see them anymore. So I get a thumbs up every time I go out now. But uh, like I said, I've been just kind of tinkering with it. It's a toy, you know. Ultimately, I'd love to tear it down. And it's been through a lot of Pennsylvania and Ohio winters, you know, with, you know, the salt and that. It's taken its toll, but it's still in good shape. I'd like to tear it down, but I don't think I'm going to get there, you know. You know, I've got too many other things to do, so I'm just going to drive it. And you know just just enjoy it and i think that's the key to this whole you know the key to this whole thing with the car guys and that just drive your cars and enjoy them you know that's that's why you have them you know so enjoy it but uh any questions for us be a rick uh email us channel 20 that's channel 20 at agoc.com or you can uh, post a comment on our facebook page we'll answer it for you or we'll make an episode out of it you know if it's uh we got pollen falling all the trees so um we want to hear from you so keep time for the shows and we will see you out at the shows they're starting very soon the shows have probably already started when you see this segment but uh we'll see you out there come and enjoy it